Hi YouTube and happy Thursday. I know I've been doing a lot of biking recently and consequently making a lot of biking videos and videos about bikes I've been restoring as my cat agrees. But I thought I'd start to get back into the computing theme that my channel really focused on over the past couple years. And I'd get back into it with this UMPC that I've wanted for a really long time and I recently got because I need it for several different reasons. I need it. A Samsung Q1 Ultra. You all may have heard of this. I had heard of it for a long time and I just thought these were probably rare by now and expensive and you know really underpowered for what they were but after more exploring computers after installing Anti-X Linux on a Sony Vio that I I got um, as a gift from a friend and I've made a video about some time ago I thought of a number of uses for this because you can run some Debian and Debian and you know other Linux distributions on 32-bit um, devices. Anyway, so I saw these were relatively inexpensive. I got this thing new in box, new old stock for $85, $80 or $85 with shipping, which is very reasonable. And I thought I could use this at work as a personal only computer for checking Gopher, checking email, uploading, uploading biking GPS tracks to Strava and just doing other things that I wouldn't um, other things you know I wouldn't want to do on a work computer like you know checking Gmail as opposed to checking my work email you know nothing nothing more sketchy or crazy than that so anyway, I might I might make a series of videos on this Q1 Ultra this one will just be the unboxing here so let's see what's inside I'm breaking the seal for you wonderful YouTube people. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do the little ribbon cutting here, if if I'm capable of that. And I, it's a little uh, more intense than I thought it would be. Just felt like I was. Uh, did I cut through a tab? Yeah, maybe that wasn't the wisest thing to do. Anyway, but there's the Q1 box opened up. It's from about 2007. Oh, wow. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe that's some kind of case or cover. If that's a case, that's really great. Uh, Q1 Ultra Getting Started Guide. That should be helpful. And this is probably pre-installed with... Um, Windows, so I'll go ahead and uh, wow, that thing's really light. There's the Q1 coming right out of the cover. We see it still has screen protectors. The battery's not yet in place. That thing's really light and compact, and the keyboard's nicer than people said it is. But of course, we'll see what happens with use there. Okay, so I'll go ahead and pull that out, and then see what else we have. Uh, it's nice it came with that protective sleeve. I could see how that easily could get dirty. Uh, some kind of casing there. Um, I'm planning to do some upgrades on this. I'm planning to upgrade the RAM from 1 to 2 gigabytes. I may have a um, DDR2 1 gigabyte SIM somewhere since I don't think I was able to sell those. Uh, there's this box inside of here. Let's see what's in there. Okay. Looks like more manuals and, um, oh, safety instructions. And then the power adapter and the battery. Might as well get that charged up. And then some software. That's that's really nice. I mean, it's, it must have been a, a lanyard. My gosh, you know, everything came. There must have been, you know, a very well-kept um, new in-box unit. USB data cable. Let's see what this is. Okay, system recovery media. That's great. I was thinking of backing up whatever was on the hard drive, but it looks like I, I won't need to do that. I plan to install um, Anti-X Linux from a flash drive and use one of these one of these um, portable keyboards, portable wireless USB keyboards 
uh, for the BIOS setup since apparently you can't access that with the keyboard that you can see on the Q1 on each side. I do have a um, Asus Triple E PC that's also a 32-bit device. I should talk about that in another video. And I use that for a ton of different things. A lot of 16-bit DOS cross compilation. I think that was the main thing. And also some OpenWRT development. This, you know, I could use for a lot of things, but just a nice, um, a nice non-work Linux computer to use at work in occasional emergencies. Anyway, so I just wanted to do an unboxing here, but I'm going to do a full review later on. I'll do some demos. I'll probably do one video on the default um, Windows XP that's on it, and then... After that, uh, future videos with Anti-X Linux. Just getting everything out, and I'll get this set up. But anyway, that's that's pretty cool. There's more in there than I expected. If you have a Q1 or Q1 Ultra, or I think there was a Q1 Ultra Premium or something like that, uh, please leave comments uh, down below about your experiences with it. Uh, if you have any questions or demos you'd like to see, also leave those in the comments down below. And like and subscribe as always. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye now.